in part three, I want us to, to do a few examples where we expand a more complicated logarithmic expression into multiple logarithm expressions. So in this case, I recognize on part A that 36 to the x is multiplied times y to the 11th. There's a times in here. So I can use the product rule or the product property of logarithms to split that into log base 6 of 36 to the x plus log base 6 of y to the 11th. But now I can take an additional step of taking this exponent and moving it out front using the power property of logarithms. And I could also move this 11 out front here, leaving me with x log base 6 of 36 plus 11 log base 6 of y. And actually, I'm going to back up and say I can go one step further and recognize that this right here is 2. So this becomes 2x. It's 2 because 6 to what power gives me 36? I get 2x plus 11 log base 6 of y. And there's my final answer. Okay, so let's look at another one. Again, all I did this time was I used the power rule to split, sorry, the product rule to split it into a sum from this product to this sum. And then I used my power rule to pull out the exponents. And then on the last step, I just simplified log base 6 of 36. Okay, let's do part B. Now I've got a log of a quotient. So I'm going to take the log of the numerator, log base 5 of square root of x, and subtract log base 5 of the denominator, which is 25y to the fourth. And again, I mentioned this before, but every time you see a radical, you're going to change that into a uh, one-half power. So I'm going to do that in just a second. I also want you to see that right here there is a multiplication. So I'm going to be able to split this logarithm even further. So this becomes log base 5 of x to the one-half power minus log base 5 of 25 plus log base 5 of y to the fourth. Notice I put these parentheses here to make sure that I subtract the whole expression that I get when I expand that. So make sure you do that because in a second I'm going to need to distribute this minus sign to each of these terms. You have to subtract both of them once you split it. But now I can actually on this one and on this one pull the exponents out front. So this one half comes out front here. This second logarithm here is going to be 2 because 5 raised to the second power is 25. And the last one I can pull the 4 out front. And then I'm going to remember to distribute my minus signs to both of those two terms. So the first one becomes 1 half log base 5 of x. The next one is going to be minus 2. And then the minus sign also goes to the last term, but I'm going to pull that 4 out front. So it's minus 4 log base 5 of y. And there's no like terms and no other property of logarithms applies, so that's my final answer.